go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. We actually have two champions that we're gonna rank up in this video. And as you guys know, I love ranking up champions. Now, both of these champions are six stars. I didn't rank up any uh, seven stars in uh uh, for this video, but they're coming. Now, the first hint for the first champion is that it's a champion that I recently pulled. Okay? The second champion is one that I've had for quite a while. And I'm just now ranking him up. More on that when we uh, get there. All right? So... If you think you can guess who I am going to be ranking up in this video, leave a comment. Put your guess in the comments. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up is going to be Destroyer. Now, I actually don't know a lot about him, but I remember fighting against him with my Hercules and getting destroyed. And I wasn't happy about that. I see that he gets unstoppable when he dashes, which reminds me of Rhino. Now, back in the day, I had so much fun with Rhino because my intercepts were going to be successful. Unless, as the AI does these days, they parry me. But I love that. So my fights with Rhino would just be me dashing back, dashing forward, dashing back, dashing forward. Well, I do something similar with uh, Destroyer. Now, I also know that he punishes when you have a lot of buffs. So it seems like, you know, like the Cosmic class he's really good uh, against. Now, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to use him mostly on offense or defense or what have you, but he seems to be decent on offense. And at least until people start getting used to him, he can also be annoying and catch you on uh, defense as well. Uh, I've been playing uh, Battlegrounds uh, Season 19. I just did my uh, objectives, and I see people with him, but a lot of times they don't actually choose him when they draft him. And I don't even have him in my deck. Now, as you see, he's not awakened. Uh, I'm going to look into his awakened ability and see, you know, whether it's worth uh, awakening him. But for now, I was planning on taking him to rank three. And then I kept thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to be using him, I should take him to rank four. And I checked my resources. And while I'm low, actually, I'm out now of the uh, Mystic ISO. You see that? I only have two that I need, tier six and tier three. And so I'm like, huh, I can do that. I can get that. And so uh, that's what I did. Okay. Now, I actually like the way Destroyer looks. He honestly looks like a thug version of like Ultron or something. And I liked Ultron. Still do. I'm hoping to get Ultron in um, 
a seven star Ultron from the raids rewards. They're random, but it's a possibility. I would love to get a seven star Ultron, but we'll see. Anyway, so you see how I got the um, the next uh, catalyst that I needed. And I went ahead and took him up. And then, look away, BG, look away. I just started using ISO, getting uh, as much ISO as I could just to get him up there. I didn't care anymore. Uh, I didn't want it to take too long. But, man, this destroyer... He just looks really cool. What do you guys think? Do you like the way he looks? I don't know. Uh, when he first came in, I didn't know who it was until I saw him. I heard Destroyer, and I'm like, Destroyer, Destroyer. Who's that? And then when I saw him, I was like, oh, I remember that guy from the movie. Oh, wow. Because he was bad in that movie. And uh, I think, what, did, did Thor, Thor defeated him, but he didn't actually destroy him, did he? He stopped him, but he didn't destroy him, if I remember correctly. So he's a bad boy. All right, the next one. Whew, this one took some uh, thought, but it's going to be Toad. All right, let me tell you. I've had Toad for a long time and I wanted to take him up a long time ago, but I kept getting other mutant champions that I wanted to take up over him. Okay. I've fought him, gotten wrecked by him, and I know he's a good defender, but what triggered me doing this now is the Spring of Sorrow. Spring of Sorrow, week three, we're fighting against um, Gwenpool. And now I have uh, one of the objectives, I have a seven star Sauron. My Toad, as you saw, was ranked three. But everybody was saying that Toad was the guy for this uh, objective. Okay. So I'm like, but but Sauron would work, right? And they said, yeah, Sauron will work. But Toad basically is, is a much better choice. He makes it go uh, faster. Not only that, but he is worth taking up. He's not available as a seven star just yet. And he's good. He's good on offense and defense. He can wreck Nick Fury. And so I'm like, okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take him up to rank four. So rank four, he went to in one level up. Then season 19 hit uh, yesterday. By the time you guys are watching this, um, it hit on the 19th. Okay. And I fought to get my objective... Somebody put Toad out there. And this particular meta, it, it requires a kind of a style or um, you want to intercept a lot if you don't have somebody that's going to be able to handle the armor ups or, or somebody that can bypass that or, or something, okay? Well, I went up against him with my hit monkey. Now, what I usually do with Hitmonkey is I will parry and do, um, you know, a, a light, see, a medium light, then parry again, then do another medium light. But when I parried him, I basically died. I got him down to like maybe half his health. I still won the match, though, because the guy did worse. So, yeah, he's going to be nasty on defense as well. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.
arena and chill grind, that's how we roll, no stress, no drama, just on patrol, in the fight he swift, his tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite, from the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned, in the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown, oh.